How's everybody doing? So welcome uh, to the 2012 Silicon Prairie News Awards. Yes. It's amazing to see so many folks here. Uh, in this, this event really is a testament to why we started uh, back in July of 2008. It's, it's amazing to see this room virtually full. Uh, the events that we do, Think Iowa, Big Omaha, uh, and the work that you guys do each and every day. This is what it's really about. So we're excited for this event tonight because it really shines a light on the people that are building the businesses uh, the investors that are involved, the service providers, uh, the whole nine yards, the people behind uh, the community. So when folks look into what we're doing, uh, they can see again, tonight's all about you. So again, thank you for being here. Uh, we're excited. We've got a crazy, fun, filled night planned, maybe some surprises. So with that, Jeff, Wood, take away. Absolutely. And thanks. For those that don't know, this is Jeff Slobotsky. I think most people know you, Jeff, but thank in case you. anybody's watching on live stream or here tonight that doesn't know, Jeff here, one of the founders. I'm Jeff Wood. I work in Des Moines on the business side of the company quite a bit. And with that business side, we talk to sponsors, and it's sponsors that make these things possible. So I want to thank them right now, um, especially Bellevue University, who sponsored the opening reception that everybody just enjoyed. Thank you, Bellevue. I also want to thank Huddle, who's sponsoring the closing reception after this is done. So thank you, Huddle. And then a great group of other businesses, both here in Omaha and the Silicon Prairie and around the country that helped with this. Light Bank, Centennial Bank, West Corporation, Coley Jessen, the Greater Omaha Chamber of Commerce, Verizon Wireless, and the University of Nebraska. Thank you all. Hi everybody, I'm Dusty, uh, also co-founder, Silicon Prairie News. And uh, before I, I'm gonna go off script a little bit because I heard Somebody mentioned, what is an analog? Uh, so for those of you who don't know, this is our beloved mascot, Analog the Prairie Dog. And so tonight, yeah, clap for Analog, for sure. And you know, you might see more from him later or hear, who knows, right? Like, uh, he is our mascot. Uh, we love him dearly. And in fact, the trophies that we have here are uh, lovingly called Analogs, the Analogs, right? So. Um, a couple of other uh, items. Uh, big round of applause for the Startup Alley that was out here. I hope everybody got a chance to talk to the folks that are out there. Great group of startups that were, uh, you know, set up their booth and really sort of explained what's going on. A good showcase of, what, uh, of, of, of some of the great companies that are sort of up and coming on the Silicon Prairie. Um, Danny and Michael are gonna come up in a minute and talk more about the selection committee, uh, but I think many of the people in this room were involved in the voting process, and then uh, a lot of the 16 members of the selection committee were here as well, and uh, a huge, huge thank you to all of them. I mean, like Jeff said, this is a community event, this is a celebration, this is, uh, this is not us picking the winners, it's the community really voting on and selecting uh, who really represents the Silicon Prairie. And I want to, uh, I don't want to do this every time tonight, or else it'll be like the, the you know, the State of the Union. But uh, we have a, a, a tradition at Big Omaha and Think Iowa, uh, whereby we welcome people on the stage uh, as they take the stage with a rousing applause and standing O. Uh, so, with that, a big welcome and Big Omaha, Think Iowa welcome to Danny Schreiber and Michael Stacey. Big Omaha here. Thanks for the welcome, everyone. Uh, as Dusty mentioned, I am Michael Stacy, and I am the editor of Silicon Prairie News. Uh, and my name is Danny Schreiber. I'm the managing editor of Silicon Prairie News. Uh, Michael and I make up the full-time editorial team at SPN, so we're the two guys who oversee those stories that you read every day. And, and Danny, looking out over this audience, room full of geeks and, and tech enthusiasts, uh, and everyone's eager with the anticipation. I can't put my finger on it, but there's something familiar about this scene. Yeah? What, what are you thinking? Where is it? What is it? I guess uh, some sort of an announcement, tech announcement. 
Oh, God. Yeah, that's it. And uh, folks, I regret to inform you that tonight there will be no iPhone 5 announcement. We're very sorry. Those of you who came here expecting that, you can refund your tickets at the door and make your way home. Sorry. Whoa. Ah, hey, no one's entered the door, Michael. No. <laughs> neither, neither the bad joke nor the iPhone announcement made people leave. That's good. <laughs> good. Anyway, uh, we are excited to have everyone here. We've got a packed house. And we're excited because the people here are the people who, on a day-to-day -day basis, makes th make things happen in this region. Over the past year at SPN, we've covered a lot of launches, a lot of anniversaries, a lot of milestones. We've covered companies making acquisitions and companies making exits. We've covered companies raising capital, and we've covered inc incubators launching. I mean, all in all, we've covered a lot, and that's the 48 finalists here and everyone else in this room and everyone watching at home that's kind of made those things happen. And some will say that people in the Midwest are too humble for their own good. They don't want to strut their stuff. They don't want to flaunt what they're doing. And there may be some truth to that, but tonight you guys have no choice. We're here to celebrate. We're here to applaud our accomplishments. And so with that in mind, I'd ask that everyone just give ourselves, everyone in the, in the room, a collective round of applause. There you go. No modesty tonight, it's a celebration. And really, tonight's event is the culmination of a two-month process that included a public nomination period, a public vote, input from a 16-member selection committee, which we felt was a group that represented a cross-section of the region's startup ecosystem. They were anybody from C-level executives, community organizers, economic development officials, and educators. But you know, no matter where they were, I think they shared one thing in common. And that was, it was a tough time picking the finalists and ultimately the winner. And for this, I can tell you firsthand, one of our, one of our committee members, Steve D, the CTO at Handy, said this. When I was asked, I thought this would be easy. Just review a few technologists, designers, and companies, and we're done. It wasn't like that at all. I was exposed to dozens of new thinkers and innovative companies. It was very inspiring. Well, Steve, it was equally inspiring for us at SPN as well. And it's been wonderful to see the community's response to these awards. Now, we'd like to introduce that selection committee we've been talking about. Uh, if you are present in the room, briefly stand and recognize so we can say hello. But let's hold the applause because there's 16 of them and they, we want to mention where they're from. So let's hold the applause, big applause until the end. Michael, go ahead. Starting uh, from the upper left. Okay, among our esteemed judges, we have Tom Boozer from the Institute of Entrepreneurship and Innovation at UMKC's Block School. We have Jay Byers from the Greater Des Moines Partnership, uh, Adam Coombs from Salt and One Week KC, and the aforementioned Steve D from Hayneedle. Also, I have Judy Isles from the Iowa State Papa John Center for Entrepreneurship, Joan Gable from the Trilusky College of Business at the University of Missouri, Dr. David Keck from the Rake School of Computer Science and Management at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and Andrew Kerbalani from Insighton. Can't see anybody standing, but you can see these guys out here, so. See at least a couple. <laughs> uh, also, and Maria, I know you're here, I talked to you briefly, Maria Myers from US SourceLink and KC SourceLink, uh, Chuck Norris of Nelnet, John Robinson, who's uh, rocking his startup suave pretty hard tonight from the Ewing Marion Kaufman Foundation, and Lynn Hicks from the Des Moines Register. John actually tied my bow tie. Thank you, John. <laughs> and we also have Shane Reeser of Cohort, Dusty Reynolds of the Greater Omaha Chamber of Commerce, our very own Jeff Slobotsky, and Brian Walder from the state of Iowa. Give these round of applause, here they are. Thank you very much. No more emails from me, no more pestering, uh, but uh, we really appreciate the, the amount of time you've put in. Spreadsheets and spreadsheets and blog posts that we've sent their way, these, this team spent quite a bit of time to find out who would be the best to award these awards to. We want to bring a little perspective to this process as well. This was something that first opened in June with public nominations. Then in July, we asked the judges to, shift, to, to shift, sift through more than 350 nominations they're in each category, not only four finalists. In August, the public voted on these finalists. You racked up a total of more than 10,000 votes. And now today, we're here to name 
the winners of the 12 categories. Yes, exactly. And we'll get to those winners in one minute, but just a few more thoughts. Uh, when we announced the finalists, we reached out to them and asked to, to give us a word about their fellow contributors. And uh, we got a lot of positive responses, and we'd like to share a few of those to just provide a little bit of perspective, uh, those 48 finalists kind of sounding off on one another, if you will. Some of these nominees are old friends, and others might be meeting for the first time. But all, it seems, are aware of the work that's being done by their fellow nominees. You know, whether it's in meetups, you talk about it at conferences, or just over the phone or email. And they share an appreciation for that. We reached out to Nick Bowden, the CEO of Mind Mixer. Uh, I don't believe Nick is here tonight, but uh, he calls the other Startup of the Year nominees amazing. And he said, quote, the other Startup of the Year companies are literally changing industries, altering the way people do business, and in many cases, making the world a better place. So some powerful stuff going on. I reached out to Kirk Hazenthal of Rarewire. He's the CEO and co-founder. He's another Startup of the Year nominee, and he echoed that sentiment. The group of companies we are nominated with are all badass. They are, <laughs> that's, that's what he said. <laughs> they, are rep they all represent the Silicon Prairie at the highest level, and we are truly proud to be associated with them. Jesse Bishop, who's the founder of Clink Mobile and is on hand tonight, uh, sounded off on the other new startup nominees, or new startup of the year, rather, nominees. She said, Front Flip, Sporting Innovations, and Goodsmiths all embody the spirit of innovation and sterling ethics that set successful technology startups apart from the rest. This group make me proud to count Clink a member of the newest generation of Midwest startups. And I think we all echo that sentiment. We're all proud of the, the companies represented here this evening. And lastly, Thad Langford, who's the finalist for the Community Champion Award, shared this. The common, the common traits amongst this group are a real passion for helping others, belief in what can be done in the Silicon Prairie, and the resilience to getting things done. These folks have forged the path to making our, our region a place of choice for entrepreneurs, and I'm grateful to work alongside with them in doing so. Now we could probably ramble on about this forever. There are a lot of accolades and a lot that we'd like to say about these companies, but let's let the companies do a little talking themselves and get down to the awards. Uh, and so, without further ado, we'll bring on our presenters for the first award of the evening. We have Tom Chapman of Nebraska Global and Jamie Thomason of Divi HQ to present. Let's give them a warm Silicon Prairie welcome. for me, for, for you too. <laughs> Whether they were working to improve online payments, customer engagement, web browsing, or homework tracking, these finalists all earned high marks for their efforts on the mobile front, and here they are. Dwala. Send or request money on the Dwala Payments Network. This past year, the company added features proxy and spots, which show nearby users and merchants, respectively. Front flip. Scan QR codes at participating merchants for a chance at instant or future discounts or prizes. Users learn of the discount by rubbing a digital scratch off like a lottery scratch ticket. Leap 2, a new take on mobile search. Users leap to search results instead of scrolling through a list. The app features direct to web results showing users a website preview. And my homework. Students keep track of their homework, classes, and projects, and an in-app purchase allows users to activate push notifications and sync their data with an online interface. And the analog goes to, sorry. Front flip.
accepting the award on behalf of Front Flip is Matt Beckner, the startup's founder and chief product officer. First of all, this is awesome. I would also like this one too. <laughs> uh, this has been definitely a ride. I think everybody else who's nominated knows the crowded space that is mobile. And I definitely want to thank our amazing development team for um, you know, pretty incredible product, being the guy who had the idea in the head to have people around you who can take an idea and make it real. Uh, a couple of the guys who helped me design this product are here with me today. and It's pretty special and that's what being an entrepreneur is about, is you know, creating something with other people and enjoying it. So thanks for the award, it means a lot. Thanks Silicon Prairie, this is awesome. I love what you guys are doing. Um, go Midwest and go analog. <laughs> Now to present the award for Startup Technologists of the Year is Scott McCormick of Social Money and Tej Dewan of Startup City, Des Moines. It truly is what it feels like. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, this award recognizes a startup team member that made a significant contribution toward development of a startup's product. The finalists are? Our, our first finalist is Matt Angel, co-founder and CTO of Rare Wire. Angel's co-founder, Kirk Hazenzal, describes him as a unique combination of one of the most talented programmers and software designers in the country with absolutely no ego. Next, Ben Metz, lead product engineer of emerging product lines at Vano. The startup CEO, Wade Arnold, said Ben has created a culture of continued learning, peer mentoring, and product execution from no employees on his team to more than 40. I've uh, worked, uh, worked alongside a whole bunch of them <laughs> in uh, just under uh, 24 months. Our next finalist is Rodrigo Neri co-founder and developer of Instant, the maker of My Homework app. In May, Instant co-founder Keith Enzeroth said Rigo left his lead web developer position at Cerner to work full-time on education-related products for his startup, Instant, where he's already launched a new website for teachers called teachers.io. Next up, Brandon Weber, software engineer at Douala. The startup CEO, Ben Mill, describes Weber as having an amazing passion and care for technology that's been evident since he joined Dwala's engineering team when it was three people. <laughs> Ted loves you too. And the analog goes to Brandon Weber. say. Um, I was actually shocked to even get nominated because there's just such an amazing amount of talent in this community. So I was just kind of like looking, I'm like, man, like I know guys like Levi Rosso at like Goodsmiths who's just, you know, the stuff that they're creating and the team that he's working with and some of the other developers I have the privilege to work with. Um, I know all the people at like Startup City Des Moines. I see all the stuff on Silicon Prairie News, just like all the announcements and stuff. It just blows my mind that I'd even get nominated, much less win this. Um, so, I mean, huge applause to you guys. I'm, um, so, I'm really stoked to be up here. Um, definitely want to thank my team, like Ben Millen, who even gave me the chance to even come work for Dwala, was a um, huge opportunity for me. And I just came in and was like, hey, I just want to prove that I can even, you know, go 
hang out with him, you know? Um, <laughs> and, but I, I need to thank my wife most of all. Um, she's my, you know, uh, she's, she's my rock, she's my foundation. Um, she keeps me sane, keeps me level, lets me know when I'm going a little too far crazy, you know, with work and stuff. And so, yeah, I guess just thanks again, so. That's it. <laughs> Now to present the award for Startup Designer of the Year is Julie Malik of Bloom and Blake Lawrence of Herdat. recognizes a startup team member that made a mark on a startup's product by providing an amazing user experience or beautiful design. Here are the finalists. Jake Johnson, co-founder and designer at, of DivShot. The startup's co-founder, Michael Blay, said Jake does more than provide user experience design. He has a major impact on every aspect of DivShot's product, brand, and image. Justin Kermerling. Designer for MindMixer. The startup CEO, Nick Bowden, said Justin's understanding and interest in making a world a better place manifests itself in MindMixer's design philosophy, and then he has a knack for taking the complex and making it simple and easy to use. Rachel McClung, design lead at Goodsmiths. The startup CEO, James Elison, said Rachel's ability to see the big picture is what places her at the top and that's she's constantly thinking about what a small change in design will do to the overall experience of a good Smith's shop owner. <laughs> Kyle Murphy, VP of User Experience at Huddle. Yeah. The startup CEO, David Graff, said Kyle's ability to listen to coaches that Huddle uses, understand their real problems, and translate what he learned into well-designed solutions has been key to the startup's growth over the past few years. You hold the analog there. Good looking guy. Julie grabbed his butt. You can grab his butt. <laughs> nice and firm butt for analog there. Nice work. Sorry, Julie. I'm just saying. I, I didn't it. know that was his you guys butt. You can't see that. Oh. Um, <laughs> Startup Designer of the Year. The analog goes to Jake Johnson, co founder and designer of Div Shop. But this is Jake. <laughs> He's looking down. Um, so something that happened with DivShot over the last few weeks, they were accepted into an accelerator in LA. And so they're in LA. Um, and so Jake, uh, we asked finalists, uh, just a blanket ask, any finalist that wasn't able to come in to send a, um, just in case, an acceptance speech. So he'll say this is just in case here. Um, but we're going to go ahead and play it. So if I get the mic up here and we'll see. Hi, this is Jake with Dish Shot. I just want to say I'm sorry I couldn't make it to the award ceremony. Michael and I recently moved out to Santa Monica and joined Launchpad LA. If in the event I do win Startup Designer of the Year, I'd like to thank Kansas City Startup Weekend for all their support and help. Dish Shot probably wouldn't have happened without their involvement, and I wouldn't be sitting here hypothetically accepting an award. <laughs> we already miss Kansas City and can't wait to get all of you into the beta. Thank you for this honor. It really means a lot, and I'm proud to say I'm a Silicon Prairie designer. I don't have much time, so I've already back to working on Dish Shot. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, actually, let's yeah, go ahead, Blake. What do you think? <laughs> we did. I'm not worried about it. Thanks, Blake. We'll pick that up for you out there. Nope. <laughs> 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 
Now to present the award for Startup Service Provider of the Year is Brian Kaiser and John Wirtz of Huddle, one of tonight's premier sponsors. This award recognizes an attorney, accountant, marketer, or other service provider who made things happen for startups. It's that simple. And the finalists are? Bart Dillashaw, Scudder Law Firm. Client Ben Pankinen of Social Assurance said that Bart breaks the mold of a typical attorney and that he possesses an expertise in startups, funding models, and accelerated growth. Joey Henke of Miller, Fiddler, and Henke Insurance Agency. Client Dan Shipton of BitMethod said that having a partner to help them navigate the insurance industry has allowed them to focus on their business. Greg Cradifield of Pulsinelli Sugarheart PC. Client Nathan Jones of Ag Local said Greg was instrumental for his startup by providing early counsel and model fit for his cash-strapped pre-revenue startup that allowed them to get going quickly. And David Milligan of Avon IP. Client Colin Kenevy of Greenbean said David truly gets it when it comes to running a startup, the way he goes out of his way to help you, to the system he's implemented, to billing for his clients. And the analog goes to Greg Cradifel. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Wow, I uh, totally did not expect this. Um, I guess I'd like to start like everything else I've ever seen of these is I'd like to thank God, my family, Harvey Weinstein, the Academy. Um, no, I mean, I, look, I love working with technology entrepreneurs. Quite frankly, they inspire me. I mean, technology entrepreneurs to a one, envision the world as a better place. I mean, they make it more efficient. They, they envision it faster. They envision it more entertaining. They envision it more secure. I mean, they, uh, I mean, a technology entrepreneur puts their time, their talents, their resources on the line every single day. And I feel very honored to have the opportunity to help them and work with them. And so I'm very appreciative of this. Thank you very much. Now to present the award for Investor of the Year is Meg Fitz of the Greater Des Moines Partnership and Jonathan Robinson of the Ewing Marion Coffin Foundation. Unlike some of the other presenters, I'm going to do my best not to molest poor analog here. <laughs> These investors, uh, according to the CEOs of their portfolio companies, do more than just boost bank accounts. They provide the total package. Here are the finalists. Dundee Venture Capital, a venture capital firm investing in internet services and e-commerce business. Nick Bowden of Dundee portfolio company MindMixer has said that Mark Haysbrook has provided connectedness to both coasts, invaluable guidance, and served as a sounding board as someone who has created a successful company. Jim and Karen Linder, a husband-wife angel investor duo. Paul Jarrett of Bulu Box said the Linders are one of the main reasons he moved Bulu Box from San Francisco to Lincoln. They didn't just contribute dollars, Paul said. They have contributed their time, mentorship, and contacts. Nebraska Global, a software venture firm, that, excuse me, a software venture fund that invests in Nebraska-based startups. Christopher Kingsley of the fund's portfolio company, 42, has said that Nebraska Global is all about their people showing up for their companies, 
We have seen how Steve Keen, Patrick Smith, and Nebraska Global Investor Stephen George will really go out of their way to help you solve problems and connect people. Open Air Equity Partners, a venture capital and private equity firm focused on the wireless communications and mobile internet sectors. Thad Langford, former president and CEO of open air portfolio company Zave Networks, which was acquired by Google, said open air was a critical piece of the equation for his former company's success. They were believers in the business and thus willing to go well above and beyond the traditional VC role, Thad said. And the analog goes to Dundee Venture Capital. Accepting the award for Dundee Venture Capital is Mark Haysbrook, Michael Weta, Nick Ingebart, Shannon Bollet, and Andrea Sandell. So uh, this is the first team acceptance here because uh, I don't do um, half as much as the people behind me. And so I guess I wanted them to be recognized as well because this is a really a first crack team that we have and I'm really proud of them. So thank you very much for that. Uh, as the oldest guy in this room, um, <laughs> I was trying to think, should I use words like stoked and uh, just, it didn't come off very well. But, um, you know, to be in the same company with, uh, you know, with the lenders, Nebraska Global, Open Air, uh, I think the fact that my eight kids hit the vote button uh, repeatedly <laughs> might have tipped the scales here because when it comes down to it, we're all doing great things. Uh, we all have the same mission and uh, the fact that we get to work with really great entrepreneurs is, uh, is part of the fun. And as I enter the last lap of, of my career, I thank uh, the entrepreneurs out here that I guess get to be exposed to every day. And, and the energy and enthusiasm that you bring to me uh, really is something that I will cherish and appreciate and thank you for this recognition because it really means a lot to me and my team. Thank you. Now to present the award for Executive of the Year is Lynn Hicks of the Des Moines Register and Joni Cobb of Pipeline. This group of finalists is four CEOs who pushed their startups to new heights over the last year, helping their companies achieve milestones that included funding, acquisitions, and user growth. The finalists are... Chris Caldwell, co-founder and CEO of LockPath. Chris led LockPath to quadruple revenues, make key hires and release a second version of its flagship product, LockPath. I'm sorry. LockPath co-founder Chris Goodwin said that because of his co-founder's attitude, perseverance, and leadership, LockPath always finds a way around, over, or through any obstacle in its path. David Graff, co-founder and CEO of Huddle. David led Huddle to acquire its top two competitors in the high school football market and saw his company expand its roster to include NHL and NBA teams. Huddle co-founder John Wirtz said David keeps their startup hungry to impact more coaches and athletes than any software company ever has, keeping employees laser focused on a common vision, help coaches win. Nathan Jones, founder and CEO of Ag Local. Nathan led his startup to participation in a San Francisco incubator, and in June, he closed the startup's $1 million seed round. Ag Local co-founder Jacob McDaniel shared a quote of Nathan's, fear is a wonderful emotion to feed work and innovation. 
Jacob said, I have never seen someone so scared and at his best at the same time as Nathan. <laughs> ben Milne is the founder and CEO of Dwalla. Ben led Dwalla to releasing three features and products, surpassing 100,000 users, and in February, closing the startup's $5 million Series B round. Dwalla COO Sharice Flynn said Ben's mind fires and executes at such efficiency, depth, and creativity that it challenges everyone around him to question their own limits, a characteristic that's embedded itself into Dwalla's culture, team, and product. And the analog goes to... Go ahead. Ben Milne. <laughs> Ben was sitting right in the middle. <laughs> so I kind of wish I could take a saw to this thing and cut it in multiple pieces. Um, because, I mean, the other people that are growing companies that are on this screen are doing amazingly meaningful things that when I read Silicon Company News, that's who I'm reading about. And I think that Dwal is very early and we have a lot of work to do and I'm honored um, to have this. And I just am really honored to be mentioned with these guys. Um, and Sharice, holy shit. Like, thank you. Um, even though I supposedly have this title of CEO, I can't even really dress myself. I'm wearing Danny's belt right now because I didn't have one when I left town and I changed in the bus on the way here. Um, I work for a living and I'm going to continue doing that here in the prairie and I appreciate the opportunity to allow me to do it. So a lot of people in the room have done a lot of really amazing things for me and just thank you. It means a lot. <laughs> 